Jean's on mute, but um, I know she's there. And we got Leah all the way from uh, Tennessee. Good for you, Leah. <laughs> Hi, Judy. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. How's your weather down there? In Tennessee, it's not snowing. <laughs> yeah. It is here, Leah, thank you. Yeah, now it's about 50, it's nice. Good, good. My tulips are still up despite the snow this morning. Yeah. yeah. My gaffs and whatever. I know I've, I've started to pull my, I potted some plants last weekend, starting to pull them into the garage and I put, pulled one into the front hall because they're just not going to make it overnight tonight if they don't come inside. Yeah, I guess they said in the 20s tonight. Yeah. Oh, good gracious. Maybe it'll kill the virus. <laughs> I wish it would. I wish yeah. it would. Now they're saying warmth, sunshine. Kills. That's good. So. And I see John and Sabrina joining us. Um, can you hear me, John and Sabrina? Are they, can you see us? They were kind of split down the middle there. Looks like they might have been on their phone. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. How is your daughter liking California? Anne? She loves it. You know, she, um, I think she's in her element. She's networking. She's meeting a lot of people. She lives with another girl from Michigan State. They didn't really know each other, but they have the ties back here. And um, she, she, she loves it. Good. I don't know if we'll ever see her back here again. Uh, well, a good place to visit. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Christina. Hello. I'm trying to track as people are coming on, so it'll, <laughs> it'll get so complicated. Hey, John, can you see us? Hi, Christy. Don't have one. She's gonna. Hey. Oh, and Christy's got two little children there. Yeah. <laughs> of course, we're not in beautiful Hawaii, but. <laughs> yeah. I've never done one of these backgrounds, but I figured today was a good day. For sure. Uh, and it looks like you are on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> With my pale skin and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn hey, John and Sabrina, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, hi. Hello. <laughs> so glad that you're there. Thank you. Hello. Hey, John. <laughs> Just trying to get the technology working right. <laughs> okay, I we all are. Oh, there you go. That's good. You were kind That's of better. like, you were sort yeah. of split down the middle, but now we can see you. Okay. Uh, okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> and Sabri Sab hi Jen, how you doing? Good, how are you, Anne? Good, good to see you. Nice to see you too. Hey everyone. Hello. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Well just um I want to, we still have a few minutes. I, I we we had about what forty or fifty people I think that said they they might join, so we'll give everybody a few more minutes to uh to come on. I see a couple new board members there, Philip and uh, Brian. Everyone's jumping around. Oh, uh, there's Brian. Hello, everyone. Oh my gosh, and we have Pam Lincoln? <laughs> oh my gosh, and Todd Nissen from Ford. Hi, Todd. I told you I have my, my gala tire on now. I know. Yes. Um, yeah, we Todd see, yeah, we see gonna, that, that's smart. Todd said he was gonna put his party clothes on. I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> you know, it's it's everything's open these days. There's all new sets of rules. Yes. Mark will be on his way. Hey, Carla, hi Carla. Hi. Chris has joined as hello, well. Hello everybody. Hi Chris. Hey, Chris. Hello. I like Philip's background. Yeah. yeah. 
Thank you. It, it, hey, it's a, a Hawaiian background, uh, and it's snowing here, so I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> Is it really snowing there? Oh my yes. gosh, not here yet. Well, you live in paradise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're just gonna, it's good. We've got, I think like 25 people already. Yeah. Oh, and Chris, Kristen Rolf, and uh, wow. Alma. Yep, there's Jean. Some people are on mute. Samir Desai, we got all of uh, One Magnify here. Oh my gosh, and I see my daughter, Katie from California. Hi, Katie. <laughs> Hi, Katie. And Marsha Nye. Oh my gosh. I'm never gonna remember everybody who's on here. I gotta take a picture of you all. <laughs> Hi, CJ. Susan Powers. Susan. Susan. Hi. Marsha, are you in Florida or Northville? I'm in freezing Northville. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not used to this. Yeah, it's crazy. It was so beautiful last weekend. It feels like such a takeaway. Well, yeah, it looks like you're in a good space, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't usually do the virtual backgrounds, but it's Friday, and I'm about to have a drink. <laughs> Hi, Jean. How are you? Good. Here we are. Not where we thought we'd be. No. No. <laughs> no. That's okay. We're still together. Yes. Although it was a lot easier getting ready for this gala than I ever imagined. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. And our feet won't hurt this year. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we'll give it, um, let's see, it's 401. Let's give one more minute, okay? Just to make sure we get as many people on as we can. And I, there's a set. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Kelly? We're almost at, I think we just hit 40, yes. Okay. Yeah. Hey, are you and Philip in the same place? Are Anne uh, and Philip on the same beach? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would be nice, but um, no, I'm afraid uh, we may both be faking it. <laughs> so I know, I think Renee Palaleo is trying to get in as well, so, but don't, don't let that hold you up if you want to, want to get going. Okay. Um, I'm just scanning to see, make sure that I see as many, um, many faces and I, I don't know everybody, um, on the, on the call, but I, I know so many of you and thank you for, for joining us. We'll just give about 30 more seconds and, and get going. I'm scanning to see. Hi, David. Hello. I think we have two of our emeritus board members. I see Rebecca Boylan and Judy Orhan. That, that's fabulous. I, I hope I'm not missing another one. Nice to be here. All right, well, um, I don't know what, what view everybody has on, if you have a speaker view or the, the gallery view. I, I kind of like the Brady Bunch view so I can um, look back at look back at all of you and um, if anyone doesn't know me uh, I'm Ann Kalis the CEO of Starfish and it, it's fabulous that you all made uh, 10 or 15 minutes just to get together you you all look great um, for a Friday afternoon after um, a, probably a busy week for everybody but I appreciate everyone making the time and um, I, th I think we're all learning to no. live with um, a new way of life and just have so a lot started. of started 
Oh, I have my headset on. You could probably. Okay. You may want to, um, if you're not speaking, go on mute. Um, if you would, it'll just make the, the sound clear for everybody. But um, life is certainly out of balance for, for everybody these days in different ways. And I'm just proud of our collective um, perseverance and um, generous support um, that, that brings us all to the, the Zoom. I, it's like a new word in our vocabulary, right? Like we're Zooming on our, on our Zoom. Um, so if you're Zooming with us today, it means that in some way you're supportive of or involved with Starfish and with the Great Hearts uh, Gala that we're now calling the Great Hearts Fund. And um, I know, and I, I'll apologize if I miss people because I can't keep track of everybody who's signing on, but there are a few people who are on the call today that have been in a leadership role um, as a chair of this year's event or as a committee member. And I know that I saw John and Sabrina Campbell who were one of our um, co-chair couples. So you're not on my screen right now, but I know John and Sabrina are out there and I'll definitely give them, there they are, a chance to, to say hello in a minute. We have so many sponsors and, and donors of Starfish on the call. I'm thinking we have probably, um, and I tried to write them all down, but then I couldn't keep up with it, um, probably a dozen board members, um, past and present, so that's awesome. And then I, I know we have at least a dozen staff that uh, are either from our development team or just part of our, our leadership team. And um, I know somewhere, Jean Steppy, who was our event planner, um, who hasn't had a lot to do over the last couple of months for Starfish, or not as much as us usual, we're glad that Jean's here as well. So um, even though we can't be in person this afternoon, um, I think we, we've all learned how technology can connect us. And I know that in my busy work day, um, I look forward to those moments when um, I can look into the screen, although my eyes are tired by the end of the day. I think we're all so isolated these days that the technology is great um, to get us together. So um, I'm just a couple of housekeeping things. Um, I'm going to let you know that I have my, oops, I got to get it through to the Hawaiian screen. Um, <laughs> I have my, my toast ready to go. So um, we, we hope that um, if you're able, we're not going to toast quite yet, but I'm just giving you the opportunity if you need to sneak to the kitchen or somewhere to grab um, a drink of your choice. We will uh, make a toast in just a minute. Um, so as far as just the rules um, for today, there really are none other than um, if you're not talking, you may want to just stay on mute so it helps with the sound. And I will tell you that we are recording this because we think there are probably some people that couldn't participate that may want to look at it. So um, anything you say or do will be documented for um, future use. And um, if you're familiar with Zoom, there is a chat function. And um, so welcome you. And I, I see that some people are already chatting, but if you want to, um, you know, leave a message or send a hello, um, please know that. And we're only going to take about uh, 10 minutes of your time. So with, with that, and I'm going to open the floor to others who want to make a comment. I just want to let you know that um, the annual gala, which we renamed to be the Great Hearts Fund this year, um, is really a critical part of our fundraising program at Starfish. And this year would have been our ninth gala. And um, something tells me, because we're good marketers, next year will be the 10th annual gala. Um, even though we kind of skipped this year or we did it differently. Um, and we started uh, nine years ago, we raised $150,000 and we thought that that was absolutely fabulous and it was. And last year, um, through the generosity of many, many people on the phone, we had a record-breaking million dollar year. And without your philanthropic support, um, we wouldn't be able to do what we do with high quality, innovative programs that are impacting the health and the education and, and just a sense of empowerment for more than 4,000 families um, across our community. And um, seven weeks ago, we've been in touch with many of you. We've really tried to communicate about what's happening through this crisis. 
we really transformed ourselves um, literally overnight. On, on Tuesday, March 17th, I remember it was St. Patrick's Day, um, we moved entirely to a remote operation with telehealth services, with remote learning supports for um, several hundred uh, children, young families in our early childhood centers. And we really ramped up our role in meeting the basic needs of our families in the neighborhoods that we work in. So we've, um, I think as of last Friday, have given out 32,000 diapers. We've fed several thousand families like with multiple days of food, um, both out of our own commercial kitchen and in partnership with gleaners. And now we're really working and a lot through philanthropy to get equipment, um, technological equipment like um, Chromebooks or tablets uh, to our families and data plans and hotspots so that we can support the telehealth and the, and the virtual learning. So um, even though things have been different for all of us, um, we, we always acknowledge that this crisis is affecting everybody um, in such different ways, personally and at work. Um, but our work continues just in new ways. And we do that through the amazing staff and volunteers and donors um, and just community partners that we are so blessed to have um, as part of our family at Starfish. And we definitely see new challenges in our families. Um, isolation, grief, loss, they're dealing with family members that have been affected. We learned a lot of our families that we serve at Starfish are essential workers. So they're, they're out there and they're dealing with childcare and health and economic um, concerns um, all the more. So I just wanted to, you know, give you that, um, not you, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to tell you what, what we're up to very briefly and really just invite anybody um, who's on the phone. I saw that um, Brooke Fisher, I can see um, another one of our gala co-chairs is on the, on the Zoom. Um, if anybody from uh, Brooke or the Campbells are here I'm, um, as this year's event leadership, if anyone wants to say a word or two, and, and certainly I know um, Todd Nissen, who's an old friend and colleague of mine, is here from the Ford Motor Company Fund, um, our presenting sponsor this year. So um, anybody want to jump in before we do a toast? Hi, Ann. This is Todd. Um, I'll just say a couple quick things. Uh, thank you. Um, I think the thing that's really impressive is not only are, do you do great work just on any given day during what we used to call normal times, um, but what, how you have reacted and, and how the team has responded. Uh, it's been really remarkable and, and there, there couldn't be a more vulnerable population out there than the one you serve. So we really appreciate how, how quickly you responded, how well you responded, how well you communicated to all of us, uh, just the comprehensive way that you pulled it all together and told told us all what was going on. I, that was really impressive. And so on behalf of Mary Culler, our president, and, uh, and any, any extended Ford family members who might be on the call, we really appreciate it. We're, and we're really glad to be here. Okay, thank you, Todd. And um, Ford has been with us as a presenting sponsor, I think, for nine years. Um, so we're, we're really grateful for that. And um, I know one of our other past honorees, who's another huge corporate partner to Starfish, um, I see there are a couple of folks from PNC, um, and uh, Rick and Donna DeVore were also co-chairs. I've not seen Rick, but um, if anybody from PNC wants to jump in or. And this is Brian, uh, obviously a board member okay, as well. Uh, on behalf of PNC Bank, I mean, we, we applaud the work you guys are doing. It's, it's remarkable. I know we're talking today in our leadership team at PNC Bank, just every week Starfish sends out the impact report of the volume of, of people that they touch how they're touching those individuals and providing basic services. And so us supporting you guys and Starfish's work is the easy part. You and your team are doing the hard part day in, day out, and we're proud to be at the table with you guys. Thank you, Brian. And Brian's also a board member, which we're really grateful for. Hey, hey Ann, it's, it's Nicole with PNC. I just wanted to let you know, Rick was having technical difficulties, so he was trying to get on. So if you don't see him yet, that's why. Okay, thank you. And he was really great to do a video um, for us this week leading up to today. So we, we thank you all. Um, I know there's a number of folks from One Magnify. Um, Mark Petroff, the CEO there is on our board and they again have been with us since, uh, since year one. 
as partners. I'm just, uh, if anyone wants to jump in. Hey, Ann, thanks for saying something. On uh, Tuesday, I shared the invite with my entire operating committee, and I'm so excited to see seven of our leaders uh, joining the call, including your old friend, Samir Desai, who <laughs> had to dig out of his closet to, uh, to get on this call. So anything you just we call me old. Support, <laughs> anything we can do to support Starfish um, in whatever form, whether it's a gala or fund or or whatever, we are we are here for you, and uh, and we're behind you a hundred percent. And I I know we're celebrating Starfish, but um, I do want to say something about Chelsea being accepted into the Harvard program because I think while you have all these folks on the call, you should say something about how important that is that she was uh, nominated and accepted to go uh, participate at Harvard this summer. So um, sorry for hijacking, but I thought it was really important to say something. No, thank you. And I'll, um, I'm going to make fun of my friend Samir, uh, who works with Mark, because Samir was my very first friend in Michigan 27 years ago. So he's been my buddy for uh, 27 years at Ford. We met, we met each other on the 36th floor of the Red Set many moons ago. You continue to age us, Anne. You keep telling people <laughs> how, how long we've been around. <laughs> um, where did Chelsea go? I know she's here, so I'll follow up on that one. Um, so Chelsea, say hi so you pop up, Chelsea. Hi, everyone. Um, Chelsea is the director of our value acceleration team at Starfish, and we just nominated her. Um, there's a very generous group of Harvard Business School alumni in uh, Southeast Michigan that really support the nonprofit sector. And we nominated uh, Chelsea to go to a performance measurement executive leadership program at Harvard and uh, she was accepted. So she's going to um, not go this June um, online, but actually enjoy the experience of going to Cambridge uh, next June. So we're really proud of Chelsea. Thank you. And uh, this is John and Sabrina Campbell, and we are just so proud of all the work that Starfish has done. We really feel like we are part of the Starfish Family Service family. Um, your phenomenal communication, the dedication of everyone involved has really impacted the community. Um, we are so proud of all the work you've done, especially with our current situation with the pandemic. But I would like to also say thank you for putting this together. Stacy. thank you for making sure that we continue with fundraising to help our families. You do such a phenomenal job. We are just so proud to be part of it. Thank you so much, Sabrina and John. And I'll hop in real fast too. I know we don't have a lot of time. This is Brooke Fisher. And just to echo what John and Sabrina said and what everyone else has said, th thank you to everyone for being here. And we obviously all on behalf of all of the co-chairs and the whole team. And Anne, we obviously would much rather be at Ford Field right now, but thank yes. you all for your support and for jumping in here, and especially to you, Anne, you're amazing. And yeah, it's, I can't even say enough what you have done in this difficult trying time and keeping everybody together and providing the services that you do. So on the, I'm not sure if Jennifer's on here right now either, but on behalf of my husband and the entire co-chair group and the Grangers and everybody else, we just thank you all so much, so. Thank you, thank you, Brooke. And uh, we, we're really blessed to have, um, for the past many, many years, just amazing uh, leadership, volunteer leadership for the gala that really helps us you know, build our, our network and our supporters um, so that we can do more each year and therefore serve our community um, in, in better and broader ways uh, year after year. So I'm going um, I'm gonna move on. Oh, Philip, I see Philip. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, hi everybody. I want to talk to Katie, your daughter. Yeah. Uh, in so hi, Katie. <laughs> in so many ways, your mother is a spiritual guide for all of us and has taken care of us in spectacular ways. She and her staff, which you know personally, and I uh, applaud so often, have given us uh, new hope and optimism for coming out of this pandemic um, and entering a new normal with thoughts of helping others at the top of our list. Um, 
I don't know many women like your mother, but I'm proud to be called her friend. And I love her and uh, the spirit and heart and guide that she gives all of us on a daily basis. So you're a lucky girl to have a mother and father like you do. <laughs> I'm very lucky, very proud. I'm only a pain once in a while <laughs> um, as a mother. Um, so anybody uh, jump in, but maybe what I'll do is the big reveal and we'll get to a toast and then people who wanna sign off um, can do so, but um, we're, I'm gonna for sure stay on because I love seeing all of you. So um, just to, to bring it home, um, back in March when this crisis hit, um, we didn't know what to do about the gala and certainly had no idea of what the last seven weeks would look like and, and just this sense of not knowing what the next weeks and months will look like. But we did make a decision to cancel the gala and to try to um, harness the generosity of the community in a different way into what we decided to call the Great Hearts Fund. And um, just so, um, privilege to say that the overwhelming majority of sponsors that we had in hand back in mid-March um, very quickly, um, without thinking, um, switched their support from a sponsorship into a gift, and, and that new significant gifts continued to come in after we canceled uh, the event. So you, all of you, your leadership um, as volunteers, as donors, as event leaders, um, you kept the momentum growing for us through the, the crisis in the community. And like I said, this event is really the most important part of our unrestricted fundraising program at Starfish. So we, we set a goal um, to raise $600,000 that would allow us to hit our um, net proceeds for the gala because we were, um, Ford Field was wonderful to work with us and really minimize any expenses. Um, so we had virtually no expenses. And I'm gonna give you my, um, my very sophisticated craft sign of our proceeds um, that I found my children's old arts and crafts and worked on it today. Um, and we continue to fundraise. So we know that this isn't the end of the line, but um, if you can see my screen, um, can you see it? We have, you, you can't see it? All right, I gotta go back to my Hawaiian thing. Oh, all right, it cool. disappeared. Oh, where'd it go? The virtual we raised five hundred and thirty thousand. Yeah. There you wow. go. Oh, yay! We raised yay. five hundred and thirty thousand um, dollars. I'm so upset that this can't be seen. <laughs> you have to turn off your background. Now, yeah, yeah. You or or hold it right in front of you. We can see it. There it is. Woohoo! <laughs> can you see it? Sort of. So, um, sorry, it's a little anticlimactic, but it's a very pretty sign. And um, so we, we have raised $530,000 um, despite the cancellation of the gala. And we know that there are still, um, as there always are the night of the gala, some outstanding um, contributions. So we are still on our path to raise uh, $600,000. And um, it, it's really important because I think um, no one of us on this call really knows what the weeks and months are ahead of us and how long this is gonna continue to impact, um, probably indefinitely, but not, not knowing in what ways it's gonna affect um, our future, you know, at, as an organization and just as, as individuals and in our community. So we are thrilled that you all took time uh, to join us. I know I'm gonna stay on and, and chat. There's so many people who didn't get a chance to jump in. Um, I see our last year's co-chairs, Emily and Henry Ford sitting there, thank you, um, with their um, extended family this year. And I see Emeritus Dennis Feeney, another one of our Emeritus board members has joined us. So it's just so wonderful to see you. You are the family of Starfish and um, couldn't be prouder of what we've accomplished um, through our Great Hearts Fund this year. So um, I'm gonna hang around, but I, that really, um, oh, our toast, oh my gosh, Maggie, thank you. Everyone's like waiting. Our toast. Um, so uh, yeah, raise your glass. I'm, I'm a horrible hostess here. So I have my Friday blue moon and, you know, cheers to you and here's to, Here's to the wonderful children and families of our community. So 
Thank you. Virtually clinking. So thank you. You well all look done. great. You all look great. Thanks for all your support. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for organizing this. This was this was perfect. <laughs> yeah. And now we get to move to the next room in our houses if we're so lucky. <laughs> but um, thank you all for, for being here this afternoon and for all your support. And next year, remember, is going to be our 10th anniversary of the gala. So it's going to be uh, bigger and better than, than ever. And we hope to have you all engaged in one way or another um, next spring sometime. And we'll be getting ready to open our new early childhood center um, at Mary Grove. So it'll be a, a really big, a big important year um, for, for elevating uh, our families' um, futures and, and our organization. So feel free to um, jump, jump off, but anybody who wants to jump in and say hello that didn't get a chance before, please do. I see my sister Jean, um, who shows up as Velma, um, who who has sat at my table with my family now for nine years, right, Jean? We started at the Henry in Dearborn. Yes, I'm really missing. I told Katie I'm missing her so much, but I'm glad she's on. I miss my Natalie, but I'm so very proud of this work. We just do amazing things. So glad to be a part of the Starfish family and to know that we are meeting the needs of this community right now. So yeah, I, I miss Fort Field though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the flowers. I love the look. And and we can still give today, right? Just like at yes. Fort Field, I just go online and give. Absolutely. I see, I yeah. see heads doing this. Yes. <laughs> okay. So just go to my Starfish family page. What do I do to give today? If you go to the Starfish Family Services website, you can go to our donate page. And if you want to give Specifically to the Great Hearts Fund, you can choose Great Hearts Fund from the drop down. Um, if you want to give specifically to COVID 19 relief efforts, you can choose that from the drop down. If you want to give to wherever we can use it the most, you can choose that from the drop down. And if you're having any problems, um, put it in the comment section. It goes right to me. Um, yeah. Thank, thank you. you thank you. It's great. And I really thought I was going to get the um, auction item of going to Africa this time, but oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'll have it back next year. We hear it's yeah. a it's a wonderful trip. Hey Anne and everyone, uh, this is Renee, and my wife was with me. Julie was with me for a bit, but Hi, Renee. Uh, Renee from the um, what a great uh, end to a Friday um, to to hear this good work that continues and know that you guys are taking care of the community. Um, very humbled by all the work and all the people that continue to support and um, just best of luck and can't wait to uh, can't wait to continue the support so great good to see you Renee thank you another friend from the board funds we're shrinking All right, I have to drop, but thanks, Anne. Have a good okay, afternoon, Jenny, Jenny. everyone. Yeah, thank you, Carla and Christopher. Yeah, thanks for being here. Great job, all. Got to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to finish your drinks. Hey, Please Anne. Come out. <laughs> yes. Philip and I were on a call this morning with University of Michigan School of Education. Oh, really? It was a fundraiser. I'm not sure, but I, I'm assuming I'm going to get a phone call in the next week to give some money to the uh, Mary Grove project. Oh, really? Okay. But it was a really, really good presentation about the work that's happening there and Starfish's role in that project. And I, I think Philip is still on the phone if he's not. Um, uh, I was, Eileen and I were in the car driving and kind of listening and she was watching on her phone and she, she, you know, she was an early childhood education teacher herself. Right. And, Specifically, says she goes, God, I wish I would have had that opportunity to go through that kind of training when I was finishing school back in the old days. And mm -hmm. so they have a great video, and um, the dean of the school did a really nice job talking about Starfish's role and how important it is in that project. Right. So 
So you got some props today from U of M as well. That's great. Great. Part of the reason why my drinking mug is right here. Go oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good, Mark. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Hi, Janet Witkowski. I didn't see you before you were hiding. Hi, Ann. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Glad to hear this uh, good news. And uh, hopefully we'll make that 600,000. We're getting Yeah, close. we're very close. And you, you and Larry won't have time to dance tonight on Ford Field. I know Larry's a big uh, dancer. We're gonna, we're really gonna miss that. I know uh, Larry was at the office for a while today, and he came home and said, "Well, I have uh, had two things on my calendar today, and one is the Starfish Gala." <laughs> so, next year. Yeah, that's for sure. Dennis Feeney, you want to say anything? I have to, un let me I was, on, I was on mute because, yeah. I, yes, I, I, I am probably the oldest person that, that was on this call. And I've been involved with Starfish and its predecessors since approximately 1990. And so I have a historical perspective about what has happened to this wonderful agency since then. And it's, um, when I think of, uh, the early days when Weta Cash uh, would decide to do something uh, with absolutely no funding whatsoever, but God provided or Providence provided for her, and and it was a she was the she was a great person to lead the agency then, and we were so fortunate. Look, good Lord, I'm I'm dating everybody now uh, to have uh, thought with Bill Mitchell and Philip Fisher and. Uh, um, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, Terry Keatings, my, my classmate, Terry Keatings, uh, wife, uh, and cho choosing um, Anne to be uh, our new CEO. That was probably, I think, the one, number one decision that, that uh, we've ever made. And, and we've been very fortunate to, uh, to have seen Starfish thrive and grow. And uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, organization to be involved with. So, thank I'm, you, Dennis. I am going to. I'm going to miss as well. I have the gala on my calendar, and I'm going to miss that. And Lynn will miss that as well. Uh, but next year, uh, bigger and better. That's right. So, God bless you all. Thank you, Dennis. Oh, there's Errol. Hi. Another board member. Yeah, right on time, right? Yeah, well, it looks like you're in a car, so it's a good thing you're not drinking and toasting with us. No, I'll just have to toast using my fake uh, drink here. Okay. I like the uh, background, Ann. I love it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, figured it's Friday. It is. Well, if it, did someone try to jump in there? It's hard to scan everybody and see if someone's trying to speak, but um, thank you all so very much. And um, we uh, are so grateful for our donors, our staff, our board members, our corporate partners. And um, thank you for ending the, the week with us. We will keep uh, keep working hard for for our kids and our families and the neighborhoods we work in where families are looking for food that they may not be our, our clients, but they're, they're getting um, some of their needs met through our food distributions. So. Great. Well, thank All you right. for hosting well, us to give us the good word. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going to do another cheers and, um, Thank you all for joining and, and have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. This is, this is certainly my family. Happy Mother's Day. Um, yeah, happy Mother's happy Day. Happy Mother's Day. Cheers yeah, to Starfish. Happy. Cheers. Cheers. Have a great weekend. Uh, Cheers. Great weekend. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I've never figured out how to get out of these. <laughs> I have to wait for the.